Charlie, what do we have here, man? This is so fantastic. We've got 75 new pairs of shoes. Yes, from Big Fish Bobby. Children, Bobby Lee now. Brand new, beautiful children's shoes. So you look at those beautiful oh, things. Oh, man. Look at this. We, get, we have adult women's shoes with big heels on them. This is, so we got slippers. Wow. This is just going to make Christmas so special for oh, so many people. Here, here, here's, here's a Phil Freeman special right there. <laughs> Cheetahs, right? Yeah, I might have to. Do you have those in size 15? Oh, take a chance? look. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. And hey, Fibbers Club, thank you all for, you guys did a donation drive for us, and we collected a lot of stuff there also. So thank you. Thank you, Phil. All God right, you. let's go. These are just some of the items we've gathered up here at 22nd Street Landing in the last few days. Thank you all so very much. We have a warehouse full of goods headed to Mexico for Christmas. Thank you all. No mommy. Ouch. Oh my God, that hurts. My only question is how many of you would have jumped in the water to save that treasure? No mommy. <laughs> Hey, good Saturday morning, my dear friends. It is so great to be with you all. I'm down here really early at 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. I've got some things i got to get accomplished, including I'm actually going to go fishing today. I'm going surf fishing a little bit later this morning. Tide Tide's going to be rolling up on a Saturday morning. It looks so good down there. I want to give it a try. Just trying to organize some of the gifts and things that we have coming in from Mexico or for Mexico from all of you. Yesterday, Charlie was here. You saw that on the lead-in. Charlie's a great guy. And man, is there a ton of great clothing and sporting equipment and fishing rods and reels that we'll be sending down to Mexico for Christmas this year. All thanks to you. And that's why you need to attend our Christmas party. It'll be a celebration of that and so much more. That's December the 2nd, Redondo Beach. If you need information, there's the phone number. Just text me. We'll see you there a week from today. All right, folks, we got to get into it. What about those bluefin? Are they gone for the year? I don't think so. They'll be back in the picture here very, very soon. And also, that halibut fishing. I wonder if the pride is getting them this morning. I saw my friend Jolene Thompson and a great group of anglers take off on Friday. I was down at the landing, and I got to see them all take off. And I'll tell you, they were saying, no bluefin for us. We want to go to the island. We want to find some sea bass halibut and load up on the rockfish. So we're going to watch that very, very closely for you all. They'll be back in on Sunday morning. I'm thinking about coming down here again Sunday morning, tomorrow morning, really early, and doing an interview with Joe Lee and, and seeing how that all went on board the Pride. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good early morning, my friends. Ah, uh, my God, is that good? It's always so good. And it's always so good to spend time with each and every one of you. If you don't mind, hit that like button. We deeply appreciate it. Share these videos with a friend. Tick the bell. You'll be notified when there's new content. And subscribe to Freeman Adventures. Don't forget, you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, to name a few of the platforms we are on. Hey, it's somebody's birthday. Somebody very important, a big member of the Freeman Adventures family, nine years old. Yes, it's Ethan Parcells. Ethan, happy birthday. Your dad is so proud of you. Your mom is so proud of you. You're doing well in school. And when you get out on a fishing boat, there's no stopping you. You just keep catching and catching and catching, as well as learning about the great and beautiful Eastern Pacific that we're so blessed to fish in. Ethan, hope you have a happy, happy birthday. All my best to you and your lovely family. And as I like to say, I hope to see you really, really soon. All right, let's talk long range. And really, it's been fantastic. Most boats are in route now, heading down the Baja Peninsula. Everybody was in for Thanksgiving. But I can tell you that that variety has been absolutely phenomenal. Catching wahoo and 
yellowfin tuna, big yellowtail, and grouper, and dorado, and so much more, including some phenomenal marlin bites down there in that neck of the woods. It's really great. Eight to 11 day trips producing all of that and more. Most of the guys are headed down, as I said. They'll start fishing probably, I'm going to say maybe later today or for sure on Sunday. So it's looking very, very interesting and very good. And those long range trips are so great. We have one next year on the Independence, an eight day trip that sold out in less than a week, something like that. It just really ramped up and sold out. And I thank you all very, very much for being a part of next year's trip. We're leaving November the 18th back on the 26th. I can't wait to fish with you all. That is going to be a lot of fun. If you haven't seen our five-day fishing trip, we put a video out just uh, the other day. In fact, on Thanksgiving, uh, check that out. You can see the boat. You can see the great crew, the people that we had so much fun with, and a lot of yellowfin, bluefin, as well as a frenzy Dorado bite. Check that out. You're going to love it. So long range, going along really, really well. Baja itself, that is if you're standing on Tierra Firma down there. So let's start at Cabo San Lucas. Sean Morgan is down there running a boat called the Wild in Sack. And Sean says, still really good striped marlin fishing. In fact, he had like a two or three day period where he had over 50 striped marlin. That is pretty incredible. If you ask me, that is some darn good fishing. A little bit of wahoo down there, occasional yellowfin, few dorado. Good marlin fishing overall out of Cabo right now. In Sonata area, we continue to see excellent rock fishing. It's been good. Friday was an excellent day for the guys out of Blackfin sport fishing, Mara sport fishing, all the boats down there that are fishing, Arnie sport fishing. It's for reels. Sport fishing, reels, R-E-E-L-S, Louis Prieto. They've all been doing really good on the bottom dwellers, and that's what they're focusing on right now. Bocaccio, Reds, those are vermilion rockfish, big whitefish, some nice ling cut. It's been really quite good down there on that side of the border. All right, the bluefin tuna thing has been very hit and miss here for the last several days. Hopefully, they're going to get back on it again. We have a little bit more coverage out here today, so we'll see if we can't come up with a bluefin tuna or two. It's not that it's been horrible. The new Luan on a two-day trip with 20 guys, I think, ended up with 32 bluefin tuna. Not bad at all. There's still quite a bit of it around, and it varies in size. I mean, you can get on some fish that are 10 to 30 pounds, and you get on 30 to 50 pounders, and then you get into that 80 to 150 pound fish, sometimes even a little bit bigger than that. The weather's going to be really nice, so that is not going to be an issue at all. A few more boats out there, and hopefully we'll catch a few more and get back up to limits of bluefin tuna, which is two fish per rod. Vary your tackle. You're going to want to have some 20, 25-pound fluorocarbon, some 40 pounds, some 60 pounds should be really good with that. You want two speed reels when you're night fishing with uh, heavier jigs, knife jigs, flat falls, uh, those type of lures. Once again, you want 200 pound leader material, 100 to 130 pound spectra, two speed dial reels is what we like to recommend to you all, man. They make such a difference. And those nighttime fish, while they are bigger, they seem to not fight as hard is the daytime fish. Perhaps they're disoriented, and when you're winding on them, they're just like, you know, kind of confused, and uh, they just don't fight as hard. Let's put it that way. So you got a chance to catch a really big fish, 100-plus pounder, and put the screws to it if you have the right equipment. That is really, really important. It's also very important if you're nighttime fishing to be out on the deck. I know you're cold and you're tired, but you got to put the hours in, and that means maybe taking a nap during the daytime, but you got to be out there when the captain says drop, you drop immediately, you drop to the depth that he tells you, you're in the ball game when you do that. You've got a very good chance of making things happen if you follow all of that. So keep that in mind. We'll be watching it very, very closely for you. Very interested to see what the pride's going to come up with here. Again, they'll be fishing all day long here on Saturday. Jolene Thompson's out there. She's thinking halibut. I'm thinking hell of it too. Friday morning, come down here and say, hey, Jolene, let's do an interview. And by the way, do you happen to have an extra piece of halibut for yours truly? I wouldn't even have to ask. I just hope they do really well because I talked to so many of the anglers out there and they were fans of Freeman Adventures and I never really cease to be grateful for that. But they were such nice people, such wonderful people. And I hope they're doing really, really well. Perhaps a little bit later here on Saturday 
after I catch a couple Corvina and a couple of Barb Perch, uh, we'll be able to update you and get you some further updates on what's going on. There's a lot of rockfish up and down our coast right now, including at all the islands. And you can start down there at Todos Santos Island, off Ensenada, right up to just below the border from San Diego to the Coronado Islands and San Clemente Island. And you can go to Catalina Island, Santa Barbara Island, all the rest of the Channel Islands. It's been really excellent rock fishing. Perhaps the best of it has been in the Channel Islands. We love Ventura sword fishing. They do such a great job. And out again today, the islands right in the California, the Endeavor, they're all out. Cranking it up, Ventura sword fishing. They put customer service at a level that is way up here. Maybe you can't even see how high it is. That's how high it is. Really great stuff there at Ventura. Rest of the guys up there in the Channel Islands do good work also. 805-676-3474. All right, let me see if I got this straight because I was getting kind of these conflicting messages from my dear friend, Dan Ross, a little bit cryptic on the message. But Dan Ross was up there in Morro Bay. They were on board a boat called the Rita, and they had to go 37 miles north of there to get into some better fishing. According to Dan, it was a little bit slow out in front of Morro Bay, which is kind of weird. I mean, I thought the rockfish always were biting there. But they went up there, and they had some really nice big reds. They had two really beautiful lingcot. Dan got one of those, and his friend Jason, do I have this right now, Dan, who is from Maui in Hawaii, he had a nice big lingcod. There they are. They have a couple of really nice fish. Fishing up there in that neck of the woods has been outstanding, really, really great stuff going on. On board the Rita, he said, it was a lot of fun. Dan, I'm yanking your chain a little bit about the cryptic messages. They were kind of cryptic, though. All right, uh, so good stuff up there and up and down our coast. You know, we saw the gentleman the other day, Ventura, we've talked about the Aloha Spirit. All the guys are getting in on some really great fishing. Their weather looks good here for Saturday. It's going to be beautiful. I don't think it gets windy up there again. I'm talking about the Channel Island area until next weekend, and that's a long-range forecast. So who knows? Things can change until we get to that. Excuse me. Um, Coastal, and I'm talking half and three-quarter day boats, guys that are out on the Monte Carlo, they had a really big load yesterday on Friday, huge load, and I imagine they're going to have the same thing again today, picking up the whitefish and sheep's head, some sculpin, you know, some rockfish, and guys up and down our coast are doing the same thing from, you know, Ensenada all the way up to the Channel Islands, and that's half and three-quarter days. Sometimes they get them, sometimes it's a little bit slower, you get a big load of passengers on there. And maybe you get a fish or two. You get on a boat that doesn't have all that many. And the cod fishing has been pretty darn good for boats out of Davies Locker. I don't even want to start mentioning most of the landings, okay? Uh, I don't want to leave anybody out. San Diego, you know, you got the Sea Watch and the Dolphin. You got boats there out of here I go. Oceanside doing really, really well. You got boats out of Dana Wharf, sword fishing doing good. Davies Locker, Newport Landing, Long Beach Pier Point, uh, 22nd Street right here. Beautiful 20 seconds straight, Redondo and Marina Del Rey, and then all the way up to Costa Ventura. There, I think I covered that. Good rock fishing, beautiful weather, so that's going to make a big, big difference. Um, another thing that I want to talk to you about is this winter time or late fall, really here in SoCal, bass fishing. It can be really good. You saw Nick Ramirez the other day releasing a sand bass and saluting the Friedman Adventures family from the new Del Mar. Nick, you are number one. Love you, man. Hope you're at our Christmas party on December the 2nd. So there's some good twilight fishing going on up there around uh, Marina Del Rey. Redondo's had some decent bass fishing. Heck, the other day up there on the Stardust, uh, they had limits of calico bass. So there's some good wintertime, late fall, sand bass fishing, calico bass fishing. Sometimes it's on a fly line sardine. Most of the time it's going to be a leadhead and squid, especially twilight fishing. You're going to be down deep, and you want to get away with as heavy a line as you can because there's a lot of nasty structure where they're fishing those sand bass, and they'll run you right back in to the window on that ship that they're hiding out in or underneath some kind of other structure, whether it's a sharp rock or something else. When you hook them, you got to get some line on them ASAP. It's fun fishing. Marcus Fain, i got to think Marcus is going to be out tonight somewhere fishing those big grumpy 
Sam Bessie does so well. He loves to fish up there out of Marina Del Rey, but he bounces around to several boats. So we'll be keeping our eyes on you, Marcus, to see how you do and keeping our eyes on that. And the surf, I'll have a first-hand account for you in a few hours, I hope, unless I just completely wash out, then I'll probably be crying for the rest of the day, and I won't be able to talk to you about that too much. Just kidding. I'll get you an update, but it's been pretty lively. We've seen some halibut up in the Santa Monica Bay. We've seen some halibut down around Huntington. There's still some really good barred perch fishing going on down there in Huntington Beach, so that has been really, really good. You can fish little grubs. If you can dig up some sand crabs, they're hard to come by right now, but if you can find some, they're really good. Or you can go to Big Fish. I'm not sure which way Big Fish is from San Pedro, Pedro, whatever this is. But Big Fish Bait and Tackle in the beautiful city of Seal Beach. They've got all your bait right there on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. They've got your bait. They've got your tackle. They've got everything you'll need to, has a, to have a successful trip here this Saturday, this weekend, or any time. Big Fish Bait and Tackle, and they are currently having their Black Friday sale throughout this weekend. So today, tomorrow, Sunday, you'll be able to cash in on that and save big. Don't forget, lobster fishing's been excellent. Last night it was good. I saw several anglers, hoop netters, doing really well. Don't forget, if you want to get a 10% discount on your Promar Ahi hoop nets and anything lobster, go to promarahi.com and put in Friedman 10 at checkout and you'll be in really good shape. You can also walk in the front door at Big Fish and say, hey man, I want my 10%. Friedman Adventures. I know Phil Friedman personally, at which point they'll either call 911 or throw you out of there. One of the two. Not sure. No. They'll take good care of you. Mention Friedman Adventures. Get your 10% discount down there at Big Fish Bait and Tackle. All right. Uh, Christmas party, December the 2nd. One week from today. Going to get a great meal. There's going to be some live entertainment. There's going to be a section for the kids to make their own Christmas ornaments. It is going to be fun. And we have a competition for a Daiwa Reel. Here it is. Right here. This Daiwa Reel will go, but plus bragging rights, more importantly, to the person who makes the best salsa. A salsa competition. You're going to want to enter that competition and see if you can win. We'll have judges there. They may just be the people who are attending the Christmas party. But we'll pick a winner somehow, some way, and it'll be legit. And the winner's going to take that reel home with them. We're going to have some 50-50 raffles and just going to have a really good time. That's December the 2nd at the Redondo Beach Rod and Gun Club. We'll see you there. You need info. You do need to reserve. If you're a Patreon member, don't even worry about paying a cent. You are free and bring a guest or two on us. What you need to reserve. There's the phone number. Check it out. Send me a text. We'll reserve for you. If you're not a Patreon member, and you should be, Patreon slash Friedman Adventures. If you're not, 15 bucks for adults, 5 bucks for kids. Going to be great. We're going to be accepting some donations that are going to Mexico. We've got so much stuff around here. It's ridiculous. We've got more stuff in uh, Warehouse in La Mirada. We need to ship that all down to Mexico and get it Hand it out before Christmas or shortly thereafter. Depends upon how things go. We'll see about that. But we would love to see you at the Christmas party. All right, my friends, what can I tell you? Have a great one. It is always so great to spend time with each and every one of you. I can't thank you enough for all that you do for Friedman Adventures, making us numero uno with over 4,250,000 views now. Over 300,000 hours of content consumed. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Have a great Saturday morning. Maybe I'll see you a little bit later here today with some pescados from La Playa. We'll see what we can do. And as always, I hope to see you really, really soon. Have a great one, my friends. (laughs) 